So, a parcel has come from uh, Minai Sport. I did it a few weeks ago. But uh, yeah, let's just say I wait three weeks for this. This is the next episode, uh, the first episode of the uh, Seat Refurbishmente. So, let's have a look. Obviously, when you get your parcel, you must handle with care, as it does say. So, right now, I'm just going to go handle with care. Dribble, boots, scores. <gasps> Let's just say Christmas is here. It's just, uh. Right. Oh. They always seem to fill it with shit like magazines where they say stuff is cheap and it's not cheap there's a receipt but yeah if you're not wondering what it is the most exciting thing ever is foam to stick on the edges of the seats i need to burp just one second okay i've burped right this is the foam that is going to well let's see front seat base wrap if you can read that yeah that foam is going to go around the edge of the seats then i've got to order the rest of the foam to go on top of the seats the seat frames I need to pick up tomorrow, well today even because it's going to be one video, um, from the powder coaters foam. Um, let's unravel it, see how long it is. And then it's pretty much, let's just have a look, it better I'd be otherwise I am not going to be happy. Is it sticky back? It isn't, so I've got, luckily I've got some adhesive spray in the, the garage, here in my garage, so I've got those. Uh, I'm going to spray the seats, put it on. Make it look nice. And the most important thing is it smells new because I don't like the old smell of disgusting, sweaty, caterpillar, bum fluff infested seats. So yeah, let's have a look. Morning, it is the next day of the day before and now I am currently off to the powder coaters to go and get the seats that have been delayed. Um, he's just phoned me to tell me to go and get them. So we're gonna go drive, get some monies because he likes cash and then we're gonna drive up to there, get the seats and then we'll see what a hopefully amazing job he's done of them and i'm sorry if i'm staring that way into the phone it's because i'm staring at the screen to see what i'm actually doing but you know maybe i should have wore glasses i don't know anyway let's drive <laughs> is the money got out of the hole in the wall or the cash machine or the ATM if you're American or some people do say that in this country but now we're off to a little town called Mosley or Mosley if you are not from where I live but yes we're going up there now uh, pay the guy powder coating is extremely cheap especially by this guy he's only charged me 40 pounds for doing these seats so hopefully they'll be good so I will see you in Mosley Whilst recording this episode, I'll let you get. Well, I'll apologise for one. Um, episodes are gonna be not as frequent as normal. As the only when I first started doing these, I was actually off off sick from work from an operation, so I had four weeks off. So I had a lot of time on my hands to do nothing other than make videos. They are gonna be a lot slower because my job and it's quite demanding. I, I work away a lot all over the country. Uh, so Monday to Friday I'm pretty much non-existent and then weekends my girlfriend's just gone back to uni so I'm gonna have to dedicate a day to seeing her well I'll rephrase that in case she's watching this I want to dedicate a day to seeing her but that's an apology for being a bit of a slow uploader oh temporary lights he just decided to put them anywhere <laughs> gonna look like the weirdest place ever to get something powder coated you're gonna think oh wow honestly but I have a lot of work done by little places that I've never really seen before and look really rubbish and the outcome has always been amazing so let's just hope this is amazing as well there's a massive pothole here that we need to avoid here is Chicago this old mill lol we have the seats. I did want to show you around in there, um, but the guy was a bit skeptical about it. It just looks a mess. There's about nine ovens in there, but those are the seats. We'll have a better look when we get back. <laughs> Here 
here we have a wonderful pair of seats. Just the finish on them is so much better. I'll try and hold it in the light there so you can see. We've gone for like a semi-gloss black, which is as close to the original color as possible. These strings are gonna need replacing. They've come apart and melted a bit in the oven. So I'm gonna, rather than buy a new part for this, because this whole section is 36 pound plus VAT, and that one's 36 pound plus fat. I'm just gonna get some string myself and just re-weave it. So I'll do that. Same for this one, this one's looking good. Uh, there's a little bit that's come off here, the metal, which just wants sliding back down that, which will be sorted. Then, if you remember the foam I purchased the other day, uh, this stuff is where the foam will go. Obviously, it'll be stuck tighter and it'll probably need a little trim, but that's gonna go round like that. And if you can't reference that, which I hope you can reference to which part of the seat that is, anybody else will start without it. That's just to give us a nice feel when you leather or your vinyl or whatever cloth you're putting on wraps around it. Obviously, we're using leather. I need to order those. And uh, yes, two beautifully powder coated seats. Now, I've ordered the foam for the seats, and I was hoping in this episode I will be able to put all the foam on the actual seats, but the waiting list is six weeks for a bit of foam to be made for these, so I'm gonna have to wait. So this is the second episode, I was hoping it could have been a bit longer and you could have seen more, but it can only mean that the third episode will be the best episode. Thanks very much for watching, please like, rate and hopefully subscribe. Oh, no, no.